The more I do this show, the more I learn about people's aversions or allergies to certain types of foods. I don't personally suffer from anything like that, so it's possible I feel a little bit disconnected sometimes, or like I just don't think about it too often. And one of those things is an allergy to dairy. The thought of not having dairy in my diet is one I don't really want to think about, but I know there are people in the world that cannot have it, so it makes sense to kind of think about that for them. Plus, I started running recently. Surprisingly, I think I've been mentally preparing for a year now just to kind of start doing something, and I just started running one day. I'm starting to feel a little bit addicted to it, so I'm thinking about eating a little bit differently, possibly. On top of that, I saw this sandwich on Instagram that caught my eye, and it was a bake bacon, egg, and guacamole sandwich instead of a bacon, egg, and cheese as a breakfast sandwich. I thought that was brilliant, so we're making it today. Now the bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich I did, that is a very much like a New York City bodega style sandwich. Today we're gonna make a little bit more of a higher end sandwich, I guess you could call it. I mean, avocado toast is everywhere. I guess we're making like a sandwiched avocado toast in a sense. So we wanna have good bread. I've got this Pullman loaf. I didn't get it sliced. I wanna be able to slice it into some good thick pieces. So we're gonna cut this guy up. Use whatever bread you like. You can use an Italian bread. You can even use a, a bagel, an everything bagel, something like that. Uh, everything bagel smells so good. This would be a good option. I'm just not gonna use it today. So we're gonna put this aside, slice that up in a bit. Really nice thick cut bacon. I'm a big fan of getting the nicest bacon you can. It's just that much better. This is the thickest I could find. We're gonna roast this up real nice. Haven't really covered roasting bacon in about a year, so we'll do a little refresher on it. I've got a couple eggs. I'm gonna fry those off really simply. And then I've got some basic ingredients for a guacamole. That's gonna sort of act as like the binding element that a cheese would or a sauce would. Really simple sandwich. I love a bacon, egg, and cheese just as much as the next person, but sometimes you've got to just come up with variations so that you can like lighten up a dish or you know you can indulge when you want to, but uh, this is definitely a, a lighter, healthier version, I guess you could say. I don't know if that's technical, but we got everything ready. We're gonna just start banging out some prep, so let's just jump right into it. How do you open this? These packages are really stupid. So I've got my bacon on the sheet tray, thick cut bacon. I know my hot spots are sort of at the rim of the baking sheet, so I've left a little space in the middle. I've tried to kind of cozy up the bacon strips on either side. I'm gonna throw it in a cold oven, put it up to 375, and let this slowly render and cook over time. I'm gonna keep an eye out. If I see that the edges are getting too brown, I'm gonna take the outside ones, put them on the inside, take the inside ones, put them on the outside, make sure they all get some nice brown color. Getting bacon this thick, real crispy, is not really what you wanna do. You get this stuff crispy and it's gonna be like brittle. Into the oven. While that's baking, let's make our guacamole. 
Again, this is one of those recipes that sort of builds on things I've done in the past. I've done bacon and fried eggs. I've done guacamole. I've done bacon, egg, and cheese. So this is one of those things that is sort of building on the stuff that we've already gone over. So I'm gonna leave links to all of those videos down in the description, including guacamole. I'm just gonna run through this, get this in a bowl, get all the ingredients in, season it, and taste it. It's very simple guacamole, but it's a hit. Sometimes you only need a little bit of an onion and you got a big one. So what do you do? I just like to take off a little nub on the end. I'll peel that guy. And then a quick way to dice something like this is cut it in half. You can take out some of the layers. That's a really easy, fast way to dice just a little small amount of onion. That may be even all you need for this kind of thing. Then some grated garlic. Just like one clove. Tear in some fresh cilantro. Lime juice. Start with a half a lime and then add more if you need. Salt, pepper, and just start to mash. more salt, more lime. So now I got this loaf of Pullman. Mm, it's good bread. That's about the size I want. Now we're just gonna wait for the bacon to be done, fry off our egg, and assemble the sandwich. See, to me, this is perfect bacon. Get this off the pan immediately. Drain it on some paper towel. Now save all that bacon fat. You can use that to make homemade tortillas. You can check out my video, figure out how to do that. And we're just going to toast up our bread real quick. Got my toast. I like to let it cool like that a little bit so it doesn't get moist when it lays flat. I don't know, that's just me. I'm just gonna pre-crack some eggs into a few little bowls, get them ready to fry up, and then we're done. So I got my eggs, let's fry them off. Got my fried eggs ready, got my guacamole ready, got my toast ready, bacon's ready. Let's get this thing together. I'm not missing cheese whatsoever. When you bring something like guac that has all that flavor, it's a perfect replacement for cheese. And it still gives you that sort of indulgent vibe. I think it's fantastic. You kind of know how to do all of this stuff. For me, this was just sort of like repackaging stuff you know how to do into something you may not have thought of. I hadn't really thought of this until I'd seen it on the internet done. I thought it was brilliant. I had to do it and share it with all you guys. Let me know down below if you guys have any sort of allergies, 
or food aversions or anything like that, just for something for me to keep track of. So there you have it, super easy recipe. It's your replacement for cheese, an alternative to a bacon, egg, and cheese, even if you do eat cheese. It doesn't even matter what it is or who it's for. What I know is it's delicious and you should be making it. Man, that sandwich leaves a taste in your mouth that lingers and it's super, super delicious. You notice how my hair progressively gets crazier throughout the episode as I run around trying to do all this stuff? Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thanks to all my patrons scrolling on the screen. Appreciate you all. That's all I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself. Ooh.